Hi, I just wanted to do a quick little pop-in to remind students how to sit at the piano when they're, when they're practicing at home. At my piano studio, we, I have a bench that is adjustable so we can find the right height um, that fits their body. Um, but when you're at home, um, you probably don't have an adjustable bench um, yet, at least. And so you need to just watch for a few things, okay? This is especially for the, the little um, the young beginners or those with a bit of a smaller frame, okay? Um, so the first thing that we want to remember is that we want to have tabletop hands, okay? I, it's kind of a quick little term that I use. Um, but the idea is that we want to be sitting tall and we want our forearms to be flat. We don't, we want to be able, we're not going to stay in this position, absolutely not. But we do want to start at least at this. This would be a good height, okay? If I am lower, my bench doesn't quite go low enough to show how a beginner would be. Sometimes if you're a little guy, a little, a little um, young beginner, then you're sitting a little low and you'll have this kind of uh, direction that your forearm will kind of have a bit of a tilt down. Or sometimes if you raise yourself up too high, then sometimes you can have this problem where you come down this way. So you just want to make sure that you find the right height that you can have that bend at the elbow, your forearms are flat, tabletop hands, don't spill the lemonade with iced tea, I say, okay? <laughs> well, at least for starting. We're not going to stay put like this all the time, but you want to start at least at this height, okay? Make sure that your feet are supported. You might want to get a, get a stool or some books if your feet are not able to be flat on the ground. And for my um, studio, I have a really cool bench that I just got this summer, which is a hydraulic one, which is really quite cool. So it works a bit like an office, or it works like an office chair. So it goes up and it goes down, which is really quite neat. You can also get ones that have a little turning knob that will raise or lower it. You can find them on Amazon. And if you don't, want to buy a bench or you don't have one yet, then you can get some foam pads, like maybe the gardening, the ones that you kneel on, and you can stack a few of those up or get even those play mats, the foam ones, and you can stack a few of those. I've heard of carpet um, sample, like squares. I've heard of that before from teachers. Um, or even some towels, you could stack a bunch of towels. I find that pillows and um, blankets don't work quite as well in general. They're not quite as, um, tip a little bit more on those. So um, I just wanna encourage you for the week ahead to prepare your practice space. Um, and for students, uh, as you spend most of your time practicing, playing the piano is at home, right? So make sure that you prepare your practice space accordingly and just set yourself up for success. So I hope you enjoy practicing this week.